Hi, I'm Angie Austin with Oil and Gas 360, and we are at Intercom's 2016 Oil and Gas Conference, and we're joined right now by Jim Brendel, and Jim is a managing partner with Hein Associates. Hello, Jim. Hi, Angie. All right, so let's get started. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about Hein and what you do for the oil and gas industry and your involvement in the conference as well? Sure. Hein is a regional accounting firm. We have offices in Denver, Dallas, Houston, and Orange County. And we've been involved in the oil and gas industry since our founding in 1977. And almost half of our work is in the industry. And some of the things we do uh, to help them are financial reporting, uh, federal, state, and local tax services, and advisory services like transaction services, uh, valuation work, and joint interest audits. And we've been involved in the conference for a long time and really see it as a great opportunity to work with and interact with the key professionals in the industry. Yeah, I'll bet it's a great place for you to be. Yes, no place better. And, yeah, I'll bet. All right, so let's talk about um, the difference in things now. How are things different uh, from your viewpoint compared to this time in 2013 and 2014 when you know the, the things were going pretty well? Right, yeah, it's certainly a different world uh, that we're in. Uh, companies are severely cutting back in capital expenditures as well as other expenses, and we've heard a lot of that today from some of the presentations. Uh, the companies that took on debt in the good times are working on restructuring it, if they have it already. Uh, but the companies with strong balance sheets, we're starting to see some um, opportuni opportunistic investment. Uh, and that's an encouraging sign for us and for the industry. Yeah, and it's nice to have some encouraging signs, right. that's for sure. All right, so let's talk about uh, ballot initiatives. Uh, specifically, what effect would Colorado Ballot Initiative 78 have on tax revenues for the state? Yeah, Initiative 78 would increase the setback for oil and gas development activities. And some estimates have said that that would decrease the amount of surface area available for drilling uh, by 90%. That's what I've heard uh, too. So that's a big impact. Yeah. And it's hard to say exactly what effect that would have on tax revenues. There's so many other things that impact it, uh, prices, for example. Uh, but in 2014, uh, the industry produced over a billion dollars uh, in public funding to the state. And there's no question that an initiative like this uh, would severely impact this. Um, new production has a disproportionately large effect on tax revenues, uh, so it, it would have a big impact. And a University of Colorado study said that uh, this initiative would decrease the state's GDP by almost 4% over the next 10 years. 4% over the next? That's 10 years. Oh, interesting. All right, so in terms of stabilization, how are things looking from your point of view now that uh, prices are starting to stabilize or stabilizing? Yeah, well, we'd like to think they're stabilizing. Yes. Uh, there's been some good news. Uh, it's good to see that rate counts are coming back up again. Uh, some of the recent comments from the Saudis about supporting the markets uh, are encouraging. Uh, so uh, we hope they're stabilizing, but in, in any event, um, just like in the other downturns, um, we're confident the industry is going to come out of this one leaner and stronger. Excellent. Anything you want to add about the conference or your experience or your thoughts on the industry? No, it's just great to be here and it's great to see so many people that are upbeat and encouraging. And do you enjoy the conference from your time here? The, very much so. Very you think it's run well? And it, you, what, it, what, yeah, what's your overview of it? Yeah, I, there's, I don't think there's an event that's run better and we're a global sponsor and uh, in terms of how the sponsors are able to interact and the way that the, um, the folks at Intercom organize it and really take care of you. It's just one of the best things that we do. Excellent, that's good to hear. Thank you, Jim. Again, uh, Jim Brendel, and he is with Hein Associates. He's a managing partner. I'm Angie Austin with Oil and Gas 360.